So here we are, a golden era in a game where I flip-flop like mad in deciding what I do and don't want to do. Now, 10,000 gold per turn. We are currently, I mean, we were at 4,000. We've just lost our golden age declaration. And unfortunately, whilst we do have a golden age, we can no longer reform the coins. The coins have been reformed to the maximum extent. People are getting confused about how many different editions of new currency there are. It's very odd. They won't like, I, I just, I think it's rather unfair personally. What do I get? Bodyguard of Lies is pointless. Wish You Were Here was pointless. It's got to be between Heartbeat of Steam, which gives production, which I don't really care about, and to Arms, which essentially will scratch that itch for me because inevitably I'm going to get bored and declare war on people. Now, we are currently, or we were building um, the, what's it called? Earth Satellite which should hopefully put us back on touch with people who are actually getting into space. You can see Pound Maker is actually in the process of landing on the moon. I'm just getting myself an industrial zone in the source of everything, and I will end up buying, uh, there's a nice plus uh, three one here, which doubles to plus six, and then with uh, a factory and a workshop and a coal power plant, this city should be nicely uh, flush with energy, put it that way. But, 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 Apart from that use of gold and then the inevitable use of traders which are inevitably going to get plundered because I'm going to go back to war because I'm getting bored and you know, I kind of want to see how far we can get this conquest to go. Yeah, we want to get as close to 10,000 gold per turn as possible. Uh, there are a few tricks I can use on this one, a few little sneaky bits and pieces that I can have a go at doing. I don't know if they're going to work, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, I, I reckon 5,000, 6,000 gold per turn is probably as good as we're going to get. Globalization is going to help massively, like massively, massively, massively. But we don't want to use our gold. I'm going to be saving as much gold per turn as I can in one go. Let's see how much we can do. Also, we, we won the uh, military emergency uh, and the unfortunately the receive aid is finished now, which is a bit of a shame. So what we're going to do is we're going to use all of our diplomatic favour. Normally Canada is a really good one to do. Let's just double check. Are you... Oh my god, they're friends of everyone. Oh, bloody Canada. It's almost like real life, isn't it? Right, I'm going to give you all of my gold. Oh, sorry, my political power. 56. No, that's not much. I bet Sweden would give me more than that because Sweden are legends. Go on, do it for me. What would you give me? 70, you see? I knew there was something that was better than that, so there's another 70 gold per turn. I've got minus 85 power. There was no point keeping that one. I Spain, they insulted me, and they have been continually insulting me throughout the entire game, and now that I can declare a Golden Age war, I mean, it's brilliant. This may declare war on a lot of people because, unfortunately, they have some allies. So let's see who we actually did declare on. So we've got Spain we've declared on, Japan we've declared on, the Mayans we've declared on, um, Indonesia as well. Everyone else is kind of left alone. There was one other ally they had and I haven't declared war on them. Who was it? France. Oh, because I've got a peace deal with France. He <laughs> Uh, and a lot of my trade routes, I mean, some of my trade routes are protected by Lisbon. Don't forget, Lisbon gives me the ability to be immune to being plundered on the water. But otherwise, my traders are going to get absolutely screwed over at this point. So my gold will take a hit. That's kind of why I'm holding my gold per turn at the moment. I want to see how much I can build up. But energy is the other thing. I need to power my cities. Hang on, where is the power button? Is it zero? Here we go. You can see all of these cities have a stock exchange in, but none of them are freaking powered. And until I get loads more builders, which I could get loads more builders, that is a possibility. I mean, I'm not going to be able to stick up enough solar plants to get all that stuff down. So yeah, there's lots and lots of different competing things at the moment. For now, all I can do is just have some fun with the things that I want to. Now, France are annoyingly in Spain's um, territory here. <laughs> I can't actually get through. Uh, and give myself enough visibility. Have I not got a, there we go, like a observation balloon? It's gonna take ages for you to get there. What about you, a tank army? Oh, that'll do. Um, I want to be able to move on to the tiles, but unfortunately France are everywhere. Okay, what's the other thing I can do? If I were to take over like Madrid, for instance, which I shouldn't have a problem doing, could I get to Madrid? Oh no, that involves me going through the city. That's a terrible plan. Why would I do that? Maybe actually if I get to Savannah, right, hang on. Let's do this one step at a time. So we've got a destroyer here and I've got a, at least one jet bomber, which is just going to go, well, bam, 
nice takeover Toledo, which is the first in many, many steps. There we go. Keep that city. I need a bomber that is ages away. It is pretty much negligible in what it can do. This one will do. Fly you in. Okay, that didn't help, but one, two tiles forward will give me one, two. So if I take Seville, which does have a battleship in it, that's a little bit annoying, but you know, we can we can handle that. That should give me access. So if we go one like that, and then we go two. Oh, these are hurting my bombers pretty badly. That's okay. We don't mind. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, where is the jet bomber? Actually, all of these guys have got upgrades, haven't they? So this isn't really a problem at all. Uh, oh, my aircraft carrier can't reach, annoyingly. My destroyer fleet. Ah, oh, damn. Also can't reach. What about you, tank army? Okay, you probably could reach, actually. If I were to get rid of this Curacao army. So let's just jump... Oh, no, that's way too much. Hang on. Let's just quickly move the aircraft guy in. Get the jet bomber to bomb. And then, where's the other one? Oh, I just misclicked it. Okay, that. Does that mean that I can now reach my tank army in to Seville? Or is it not going to let me do it? Oh, it's too far away. That's so annoying. Okay, this may be a slightly painful process. Um, it may take me longer to get my tanks in than I thought. But that's okay. We don't mind that. We've got lots and lots of time. Especially because all of these cities here just have no health. I mean, look. Madrid is just being opened up like a sack of frogs. And if you have never opened up a sack of frogs, then oh my goodness, you'd be missing out. All these trade routes are still giving me 40 something gold per turn. They're not as good as they once were, but they're still good enough. I mean, look at this. With all of these jet bombers in one turn, I've leveled pretty much every single city I can see. It's brilliant. Killing all their units as well. Remember, we need about 70 era score. I mean, we've got a load of time to do it, but I mean, golden, yeah, golden ages are pretty much guaranteed from this point onwards. I've just realised that there are about 500 trade routes all on one tile in Spain's land. Oh god, I really hope they don't plunder them, but they're going to probably. Oh, I got away with that. Did I get away with that? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, they just stole a lot of my trade routes. That's at least five, six. Seven, eight. Oh no, they just did them all. They did everything. Oh, that's painful. It's, it's, it is very much my fault. Um, but, and, and, and I think worth it in the long run because we're going to end up unifying Spain. And But honestly, how dare they? How, how rude. In fact, I actually think they, <laughs> they maxed out on how many units they could plunder in a single turn. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Oh dear. Well... There you go. Now, I think actually the aircraft carriers themselves could probably take one of the cities. I mean, it's something we don't really often do with an aircraft carrier, but they are melee ships. Um, where's my aircraft carrier? Okay, no, it's not quite strong enough. Where's my destroyer fleet? Can you come in? Oh my god, what is your problem and why are you so slow? All right, battleship, come on, just kill this damn thing. All right, destroyer fleet. Come on, in you get. God damn it, they're slow. Uh, and then into Seville, you take the city with that. Uh, we've then got, I just need one bomber from ages away, like this one in Rome. We'll do nicely. Fly you in that. There we go, we can now see that city. Okay, I've got at least two tanks on the ground. I just need to fight a way through so that I can actually hit the city. So the city's on zero health. And now I just need to uh, kill some units to get through. There's the Conquestador. Oh, come on, that should be dead. All right, like so. Good. And then in you come, Mr. Tank. All the way through to Valencia. You should be able to just take that. Yes. Easy. Madrid is up next. Um, where's Scott? St uh, Scott is on his way. Actually, this is just a cavalry army. I might just keep those nearby. Here's Scott. Hello. Right, in you come. You'll be there next turn. Um, where was my other tank? I had one. Here it is. I can get into Madrid, but I need to fight through all these conquestors. Oh my goodness. So many units. That should end up clearing it. Madrid takes another bomb. Get the tank, and then in you come to Madrid. Like so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bang. Okay, one more city. Keep that. 
Delightful. And then, yeah, just use the city defences immediately to kill something. Okay, two more cities to go. Let's just get a bomber in quickly. There you go, like so. And then just we'll keep the process going. Now, I did check. Spain isn't at war with France. France just have decided to camp all of their units in the cities. Why? Couldn't tell you. Seems all very strange to me. Come on, tank. Can you get through? Can you skip through the French units? Yeah, you can. Nice. Keep that city as well. Oh, France. What? Uh, sorry, Spain. What is happening? You've lost four cities in one turn, and the attack hasn't even finished. Well, hey, we finally got there. Rationalism, I don't... Uh, I mean, these are really, really good, but I'm going to get rid of it for now. Don't need it. E-commerce. I mean, I'm so far ahead in science. It's, it's, it's absolutely nonsense. But this, plus two production, plus five gold from all trade routes, you say? All trade routes, you say? Oh, my goodness. Well, if you insist. If you insist. Um, cryptography, containment, these are all pretty useful but I'd rather have Merchant Confederation just because I get like a tiny bit more gold but let's have a look and see what this does for me. Eh, it's not a, it's, I mean it's not a huge difference <laughs> even across 50 trade routes it would only give me 250 more gold per turn but it's the production. I've got 170 production coming in now uh, and actually yeah you know what as much as I do want to save my gold we did say we were going to use our gold to get more traders because they're in turn gets us more gold. It, it's it's worth it, I, I think. Who else do we need? Uh, we've got local informants. I don't think putting Amani with everything else helps. No, 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 her unique abilities are useless where she is. Never mind. Um, I quite like the idea of like a renewable subsidizer. That doesn't really do much. Victor, Garrison, kind of, you know, I like Victor. I like Victor. Three promotion. If I do need more units, I'll just make sure that he's in a city that is right next to the front line and I can use that. Okay, right, again, a battleship. Not not a huge fan of you putting battleships down. It's almost like you're trying to avoid being hit. I mean, honestly, can you just, can you just not? Thank you. Let's just attack this. Oh my God, the air defense is so annoying. I have to make sure I've healed all of my freaking planes by the end of this. Tank army, can you get it? Oh no, how come, how come I didn't? bloody move hang on right where's my other thing how are you how are you, how are you still alive Ugh. all right kill the city that should hopefully be Spain dead although now they got one of these oh damn it they've got an Antarctica city oh the bastards never mind doesn't matter I finally unified Iberia well I, I'm keeping Lisbon Lisbon I like Lisbon's Lisbon's friendly it, it gives me many many advantages being friends with Lisbon Oh, for God's sake, why are you not dead? What is your problem? Die. Everyone die, please. Die. With nanotechnology, yeah, you know what? War-wise, war -wise, I'm feeling pretty good now. I, I, if I go to war with too many other people, I'm going to break too many alliances and my trade routes are going to be too jeopardised. My, my main aim now, my main aim is to get the gold return. I want to see how close to that one I can get. What's this one? Industrial zone gives me tourism. Yeah. Sagan's the best one. Okay, right. We'll get some music, but we don't need any of the others for now. Oh, okay. Now we've got globalization, actually. Think about this. What do we want to do? Where are we heading from here? I could go to venture politics. That would give me more aluminium. I did think that would be quite a good one to go down. I'm tempted to go the synthetic technocrancy because that gives me the power in all the cities. I might do that actually. The economic policy slots are pretty damn good as well. Even more trade routes. This is amazing. I think this should put us above 4,000 now. Okay, we're back above 4,000. That's good. But we can do better than that. We can do much, much better than that. Okay, with all the routes down, 4,500 gold per turn. Again, I, I believe we can get to a higher level than that. Now we've got 15,000 gold saved up. What I need to do is I need to find some sort of stable trade partner, somebody who's realistically not going to go to war with me. Somebody, somebody peaceful enough, like Canada. And Canada does like to get involved in uh, emergency deals is the problem. Who have we just gone to peace with? It's so obviously France we were fighting, Poland we were fighting, weren't we? So. There's a peace deal there. Now, how much gold per turn have they got? Let's have a look, 274. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give them straight up gold for gold per turn. Now, 
well, I'll show you the sort of ratio we're looking at here. So it's, it's 6,000. Realistically, I get more gold back after 30 turns. And more importantly, I do get gold per turn. I'm effectively investing lots of gold with Poland now in order to get more back later. I mean, I can fiddle around with the like exact ratio of like what's going to be needed to get like enough. There we go. So like that. So that's going to give me about 7,000 gold back. Is it worth it? That's the question. I mean, yes, I think it is in the long run. The only problem is if people go to war with me because obviously I'll then lose all the gold per turn and I've lost the deal. But you know what? I'm willing to take the gamble. Does this count as genuine 10,000 per turn? I, I would argue yes. Yes, it does, because I'm effectively I'm using gold that I've saved to sort of to, to make this effect. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not I'm not cheating the gold. I'm genuinely trading my gold to the computer and well taking a bit of a risk actually to see if, if they if they go to war with me i'm gonna be utterly screwed actually the ottomans have got a pretty good deal going they like this sort of deal it's probably because they were <laughs> willing to backstab me at a moment's notice probably there we go once this all uh comes through look if i go into buda and just play around with this for a second 5200 gold per turn so we've breached 5000 that's halfway this military aid request, I never actually have managed to pull that one off in terms of, like, me winning it. Maybe I should do that sometime. Like, if you get attacked by a deity AI, in theory, you can just sort of press the button and get people to give you money, but it never seems to pop up as a reasonable option for me. Like, the city-state one is way more likely to pop up, city-state liberation. Yeah, strange that one. Oh, another spy. Oh, that's intriguing. I wonder if we can go and steal some of this 120,000 gold per turn that the Ottomans have got. Uh, no, probably not. I probably should actually put it, you know, in my own city, protect my space port. Okay, three turns for an Earth satellite. This is better. We've got 226 production. Let's just quickly get in these buildings, make sure that the city's got all of the stuff that it could ever need. Get a nuclear power plant? I think I might put a nuclear power plant in this city. Um, purely because A, I've got tons of uranium and B, I always want it to be powered because I'm going to be putting a lot of power through it. Plus, I'm also going to start putting some solar panels down to make sure this thing's got enough energy to go. Oh yeah, just a couple of these nuclear power plants and suddenly my entire empire is being is powered. It's amazing. Why did I not do this before? Right, uh, okay, wait, build up. that's clearly not where I meant you to go. Oh, they just they just jump off. They're like, oh, did you mean me to go over here? Yay, sure. Woo. And they'll fly off. Right, I've got all my builders just background. I'm building solar farms absolutely everywhere in this desert. My God. It's going to be the best desert city in the world. Apart from Petra, you know? Yes, I know I didn't get Petra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scrap that. I moved back to containment because, my God, it's good to get envoys and city-states. This one is just so good. I can't see it because I've got too many cities now, but I think this is giving me about 20% extra culture. It, it's huge. Really, really, really big. And also, Trading Town hasn't even got a Sugba in it. I mean, honestly, what, what's wrong with me? I'm also just going to quickly go through everyone and just make sure we're all on gold focus. Again, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but it just means that we're going to get a lot of specialists in. Specialists I wouldn't normally bother with because they don't really do much gold. I'll be honest, but it probably will help the, the mines be worked as well, which is quite fun. We've got a lot of mines throughout the map, and those plus four golds from the mines make a big difference when it all gets added up. Okay, scrap that. It added about 500 gold per turn going through and doing that. Wow. Ugh, I've got 170 great merchant points as well. My cities, I'm starting to make them all do uh, commercial hub investment projects. I'm still doing the trades with people to make sure we've got some good gold per turn coming in. I mean, at the moment, everybody seems to have about 200 gold, like, per turn. It's, it's, it's really, really weird. But these trades, as I say, I'm giving more gold now and making the, the gamble, I guess you could say, that people aren't going to go to war with me. Because if they go to war with me, this backfires massively. There is the Earth satellite. Unfortunately, there is nothing more for me to see because, well, I've seen it all. And it's all horrific. Uh, let's quickly put the moon landing in and don't forget that we have Korolev, he's ready to go and immediately stick the moon landing into space which is amazing because optimization imperative is now done okay we're gonna lose the discount for gold purchasing but 
I think this plus through power for all cities and also the 30% towards the uh, projects it, it all kind of works for me I, I quite like it we are gonna lose some amenities though because the new the new deal was, oh, it was so good so so good but that's that's fine now we don't have any allies it's still not worth getting that one uh, merchantile legacy actually gives me more gold and cities with a governor that is amazingly good for the source of everything levy on mass is still producing some gold per turn for me colonial taxes i'm tempted to believe i've got enough cities not on africa now that that would give me some gold per turn even if it's not like a huge amount of gold per turn it, it's something merchant confederation gets me some gold as well anything else we want to do rationalism is no point at all there's no point really because i've already done it all second strike would be really good if we had nuclear projects and stuff going on but we don't because that's just not needed integrated space cell actually that'll give me a little bit more production towards the old rocket my bob so this comes through we were on 5,000 gold per turn now it's on 6,800 the other thing I need to just be catch yeah look at this so a lot of cities are displeased including the source of everything this city is displeased that means that I'm getting minus five gold minus five percent gold from that city that's not good enough don't like that I don't like that at all let's uh, launch the Mars colony very good uh, I need to do some trading it's the usual thing I have to do. I have to jump into this list uh, here and then work out what I've got and what I haven't got. Turns out I haven't got a lot. And while we're at it, you know, there are still some good goals there. So 10,000 gold for 460 per turn. Oh, I really hope people don't go to war with us. There you go. That's all I can do. Uh, okay. The city's happy now. Oh, that's better. Plus 5% rather than minus 5%. Hey, it makes a big difference when you're earning 2,800 gold from one city. I'm also having to go through, as I say, and just make sure that everyone knows what they're doing. I think this is what I need. Like this? Join my Discord. Doesn't need to be building me a, like an airport. I'd rather just, yeah, as I say, be earning the commercial hubs. There we go. Everyone is doing one that can do one now. It's, it took a long time. <laughs> it took an awfully long time to go through. But we're finally getting there. Oh, look at all this power. All the power flowing through the desert now. Oh, yes. Give it to me. What are we going to do now? Now that we've got this civic, uh, near future governance, let's just jump towards that. Why not? I quite like this. All of that CO2 was expelled by people who are no longer alive. That, that means the world cools, right? That's how it works. It, it kind of all gets sucked back into their corpses. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I have to say, this unified Africa is just beautiful. I mean, the Middle East, we probably could have unified as well, but I mean, it, it gets to the point where, short of getting a domination victory over the entire map, and that would take so long, I think we've done pretty well. Ah, oh, I'll be back. I always like that one. Makes me smile. Ah, 3,000 production towards the Space Race project. Okay, that's pretty good, Mr. Sagan. I'll just keep an eye on you there. Oh, damn it. Now, this is the one I really wanted. 100% production towards space race projects. I didn't realize it was going to dump her out like immediately after. Can we get ourselves 23,000 gold? Well, short of cheating, probably could. I mean, I say cheat. I could I could trade some gold per turn with like the Ottomans and, and just insta buy it. But it doesn't it doesn't help our, our policy of trying to win the game through getting 10,000 gold per turn. So you know what? I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. There's no point rushing this one as well. Sagan is... He's going to just wait for a bit um, because I haven't unlocked the next project. Once I've unlocked the next project, then I'll then I'll have a look. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, we're getting there slowly. 8,200 gold per turn. Yeah, look, Salam's there now. I wish he'd come first. God, I hate missing out on that great scientist. She's so good. Just by far the best. What are you going to do? I mean, if I'd, if I'd skipped on the one I did pick up in order to get uh that one i think there were so many people with enough great people points that they would have just jumped yeah look at that so i don't think it would have worked i think we did the right thing but just annoying timing on that one never mind oh dear africa's flooding in bits Ooh, don't look it doesn't flood if you don't look at it indonesia i mean look why 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 just no just no don't do it okay i'm gonna get some 
<laughs> tourism from my industrial zones, which is hilarious. What's the next one? Perfume. Nah. Perfume's a good one, but not for me. Nuclear fusion. Near future governance. You know what that means. Have we unlocked it? Okay, bro. Oh, damn it. It's none of these. It's none of these. Of course it's not. All right, fine. Uh, which ones we need to do? Predictive systems. Okay, like, let's just try predictive systems. See what that gets us. God, these late game technologies are always such a faff, don't you think? <laughs> it doesn't even register as damage. I love that. Right, you know what? It's just gonna it's gonna wade out into the sea and just attack. Like bump bump. Go on, you can can you can attack? Oh rubbish. It's not gonna just attack for me. Well, there you go, the giant death robot. It's had its first uh it's had its first fun. I think we should be able to make peace with people now. Come on. You must want some peace. Peace? Oh yes. Oh yes. Spain. Spain. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, they will give me all of their gold for peace. Oh wow. That is a tail between their legs be steel, that one. I like that. What about Japan? Oh, no, more equitable. They will just take a straight peace deal. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, what about Indonesia? I've just killed them with a giant death robot. They're probably wanting to get out of there. Okay, right, no, they're not going to give me any gold per turn either. That's probably fair. And then the Mayans. I mean, come on. Ah, oh, nobody wants to give me gold. Never mind. Here, we took a load from Spain. We've now got 20,000. Okay. Let's find someone we've just made peace with, like the Mayans, and then we'll make a deal with them because they can't escape. They can't backtrack on it. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a good old deal. Can we get all of that gold per turn? I'm going to give them 20,000. Oh, I don't even need to give them that much. Oh, oh, how much have I got to give them? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not too much, not too much. Oh yes. 888 eight, eight gold per turn in. Oh, it's getting close. We're getting close. Oh, 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 Nobody minds what I'm doing. Oh dear, that's um, that's a lot of gold per turn. And this person can't go to war with me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you see, look, I always overshoot. I always get greedy. I'm just having a look at the Mayan start on this map. They've actually got a really rubbish start for them. Look, there's only a few plantations. I and mean, th this would be the spot right here. But unfortunately for them, there's a jade there. Yeah, this is, Mayans have it really, really tough. They get plunked right next to the Aztecs with nowhere to go. In fact, actually, Bogot is there as well. Oh my god, that's horrific. Anyway, cities with a spaceport gain more aluminium per turn. Oh, nice. This giant death robot is literally just like... <laughs> it's going out to sea. Oh, where did the meteor strike? Was it here? I think it was actually. God, the ice hockey rings give so much culture. They all like that. I've never actually sat down and played a game with Canada, which is admittedly not great. So I should really give them a fair shot. Yeah, look at that, six culture. Wow. Anyway, giant death robot. Let's just go um, pay a little visit, shall we? I really wish I could scroll down all of these spies. Look how many there are. I mean, there's multiple screens worth. I, how, how, how am I supposed to like sort them all? Oh, good God. There goes the Mars colony. To space, my friends, to space, here we go. We're starting to really go through this. Have I finally unlocked, oh, what's this? World's Fair, oh, great people points. That's totally pointless. Have I finally unlocked the next part? No, oh, for God's sake, I bet it's this one. I bet it's bloody that one, isn't it? To be fair, the source of everything. Should I just do the Manhattan Project because I'm bored? I think it might be worth it. Oh, and this one. I keep forgetting I can actually use proper faith to get myself buildings. Nice. Oh, trading town. Go, 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 go. Here we go. 950 gold per turn from Japan. And if I just do the rejigging stuff, look, look. Oh. Oh, oh. 10,800 gold per turn. You are welcome. Hey, and before anyone gets funny on me, look, I am making 7,200 from cities. That's pretty damn good. I don't I don't even care if people don't. You see, I, I genuinely think 
and I'm going to put it out there. I think this is a genuine success of the 10,000 gold per turn challenge because the reason I've got those 4,600 from deals is because I was earning money. I've used my own money to basically like do bridging loans with the computer. Like I, I believe this is genuine. You know, what do people think? Did, did, did I do it? I, I think I did it. I'm pretty sure I did it. Anyway, 10,800 gold per turn. Have you genuinely seen more than that? Should we see how high we can get it? I reckon we can get it higher than this. I, I reckon there's there's more to get. <laughs> Should we say buying units with gold is less expensive? Oh my god, that would be so funny. And I want, I want, I don't mind taking the minus loyalty. My empire's rich with stuff. Give myself diplomatic points. Noble prize in physics. Great merchant points. Don't mind if I do. Can I just say as well, once you start like there aren't any more great merchants in the same way that as you get excess great person points that give you faith per turn which i think is amazing oh my god the city is just repeatedly burning my poor capital one day i'll fix that flood damage but look i've got 800 yeah, 680 whoa more than that 750 um great people points coming in you should be able to get merchant points into gold i think that should be a thing right what are we doing Oh no, that's not even that's not even a thing, go away. Yeah, 759 excess points. There are no more merchants and no more scientists. So give me more science. It's only fair. In the meantime though, we're still just getting all this shit in. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.